Hello guys, how is everyone doing? So this is the second part of game update 103. Now this pertains to power set pet damage balances, okay? So now these are the goals. So right now let's go over the changes very quickly. Damage buffs is robot sidekick, damage buffs slash alteration to fury and crystal, damage buffs to suppressor turret, buffs to offering slash fortify golem, damage nerves to guardian, fed generation buffs to guardian and no change to brick. So now the actual goals. If you don't apply any power interactions or buff your pet with your abilities from your powers, then this is the order in which the um, pet's damage will be and number one being the strongest so the strongest will be robot sidekick that's a better turret then the dps and um, pets for sorcery and earth and then the support role pets for sorcery and earth but if we apply the power interactions then suppressor turret will do will be doing the highest damage compared to the robot sidekick will be second and again sorcery slash earth dps pets will be third and then the support roles for both them powers will be fourth now if you use the pet tray abilities so if you use offering for sorcery and fortify golem for earth then the both pets for both of these powers for dps will be doing the highest damage out of all of the pets and then that's the order as you can see but if you use both of them and then this is this is, this is where things change then sorcery slash earth dps pets will be doing the highest damage then followed by suppressor turret so now the, these are the list of changes to each individual pet so now robot sidekick rockets melee slash range now deal damage in aoe this was kind of lacking in the range department so which is good they've added this in okay now increased ranged damage by approximately 50 percent melee damage remains the same and now the suppressor turret increased base damage by 30 percent greatly increased damage on turrets suffering from power interactions approximately 40 percent total damage so if you don't apply the power interactions you will be losing that 40 percent total damage increase so this is to it so if we take the new artifact which is a pet artifact we get that 40 percent and 30 percent which is 70 percent plus that 200 percent you get 270 percent total damage increase for six seconds before it goes back to the normal 70 percent as long as you apply the power interactions okay and it also no longer longer self-destructs out side of combat which is good because this used to be a very um major issue for gadgets and now for the crystal and fury so now reduce base damage by eight percent so it looked like crystal was overperforming compared to fury increase overall damage when buffed which is good both for golem now buffs crystal damage by 15 percent for six seconds cleaned up AI for less variance on types of auto attacks. Okay, so now increase base damage to match crystals base damage. So this was underperforming, so they increased it to match this eight percent. Now offering now buffs fury damage by fifteen percent, just like the crystal for six seconds. So and again, with the new pet artifact, you will be technically getting now two hundred and fifteen percent buffed pet damage for six seconds. As long as you buff up the um, pet and apply the power interactions and the power interactions just to go over will be bad karma for sorcery and then for the crystal it will be crushed now guardian reduced damage by 25 percent the increased threat generation on tax by 200 percent because we know the guardian would die very quickly so now which is a um, threat generation on attacks by 200 percent which is good so guardian was overperforming in aoe situations where his base damage was greater than other pets by a large amount 
with our changes we're shifting the focus according to be more of a pet tank for sorcery by generating more aggro and having a having an easier time of holding enemies off the player okay this is interesting for a damage focus sorcery players will want to use fury okay that's good okay so this was from Batupa, the developer we look forward to players testing these changes in a few weeks so they're given us a few weeks details and dates soon we will continue to adjust numbers as needed your feedback is extremely valuable to us and we hope together we can make a more enjoyable tank experience for everyone i bet um, i thought he meant to say dps experience there but okay so that's the changes what do you guys think? These are permanent pets. These are permanent um, changes for the pets, okay? So let me know what you guys think. Whether it's a good change, not a bad, not a good change, and why. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.